So it really is the epidemic of the modern times. You know, we think of diabetes as being extremely common, uh, but NAFLD, which is the formal name now called MASLD, which is the formal name for uh, what we used to call non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, affects 35% of the population. That makes it three times more common than diabetes. And a third of those patients have a, a more dangerous version of MASLD called MASH. And we'll get into the details later, but um, th that's the type of liver fat that can lead to cirrhosis and liver failure. Um, so we're talking about a third of that 35%. So that's Roughly the same number of people that have diabetes in this country have this highly dangerous uh, fatty liver disease. And so, you know, when we're talking about fatty liver disease, it really is important to understand what that name means. Um, the traditional name was non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which I think you and I, both as obesity medicine specialists, can agree that that is just an absolute terrible name for a metabolic <laughs> disease. Because first of all, it's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So... It's not alcoholic, but what is it, right? It tells you nothing about what the disease is driven by, what the disease is caused by. So when I tell people that their diabetes led to their cirrhosis and liver failure, they're shocked. They're like, what is this? I've never heard of this disease. Um, I don't drink alcohol. I don't have hepatitis C. How could I have cirrhosis? Um, so it accurately places this disease dead center in the middle of the metabolic syndrome, which um, as Dr. Lustig has said on, on previous uh, uh, interviews on, with you, you know, is really the cornerstone fat in the liver is the cornerstone of metabolic syndrome. Um, and it's not just that fat in the liver drives metabolic syndrome, it's that metabolic syndrome drives fat in the liver and the associated damage. So that's an important component. And then the other thing is that we're dealing with a d disease that is an obesity related disease, um, or at least a metabolic syndrome related disease. And having the word fatty can sometimes be stigmatizing to patients. Um, yeah. So that's the reason why in June of 2023, um, 20 different liver societies and GI societies uh, got together and agreed that we'll change this disease to, it's a, it's a mouthful, metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease. So MASLD is what we call it. Steatosis <laughs> means fat in the liver. Uh, obviously metabolic dysfunction means it's associated with metabolic syndrome. Um, but you know, it's a, it's a mouthful and it's a little awkward, obviously when you're talking to patients. Um, but it does, it does properly paint the disease, um, as what it is. And so, you know, when we think about mass old, like I said, it affects 35% of the population. So just a huge, we're talking about over a hundred and roughly 120 million people in the U S right now. Um, and you yeah. take a third of them and they have this more dangerous version. So MASLD is fat in the liver, plain and simple, more than 5%. Um, so, you know, you've had other experts on here that talk, uh, Dr. Lustig in particular said that if the, if there's more than a half pound of fat in the liver, then that can be damaging. Um, well, that correlates to greater than 5% fat. So um, the average liver weighs around 1500 grams or so, 1600 grams, uh, which is roughly like three, three and a half pounds. And so if you take more than 5% of that, that's about a half pound. Um, so that's where those numbers come from. And that's when we know that it's pathologic up to 5% fat can be normal. Um, and past 5%, um, is, um, considered abnormal. Now, while it will probably lead to metabolic dysfunction, just having fat in the liver doesn't necessarily cause the liver to get sick. Um, and so this is, there's two things that I think that we should definitely jump into. And that is the effect of liver fat on metabolic syndrome and, and, and other metabolic disease, as well as what does the fat in the liver actually do? Right. So obviously my area of true expertise is what does the fat in the liver do? Um, mm -hmm. And when we have just plain fat in the liver, um, what I tell patients is that it is an independent cardiovascular risk factor. So it really does drive metabolic disease. And we know that to some extent, the more fat you have in the liver, the more risk, the, the, the more metabolic disease it can drive. 